I'll tell you what. Arn's my best friend today. Yeah. Arn would do anything for you, and a great guy, but Tully, Tully screwed me. Really? Yeah, to this day, I'm still hurt from Tully. Uh, when they took the belts from us, he hit me over the head with that chair. I don't know if you remember that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, cracked two vertebrae in my neck, and it's still screwed up. Wow. He hit me that hard, it chipped four of my teeth, cracked the vertebrae, knocked out cold. That's wow. how hard he hit me with that chair. Wow. Yeah. And that was uncalled for. You know. So he he tried to hurt me. Wow. You think that was intentional? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you sit there and yeah. cover arm for the titles and leave your head wide open for somebody and they come right on the top of your head and hit it? Yeah. You know, instead of hitting you from the side of the head so you got a little give. and. Why? Was there heat between you guys? or, or? Never. But yeah. he's the little guy, and I'm 320 pounds, and I'm going to knock the shit out of this guy, you know? Little man complex. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's only a couple guys in the business that, you know, and maybe he did it because I'm best friends with Arn, and him and Arn were having falling outs and yeah. fighting, and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, how did you uh, wind up in the WWF? Um, after working that long period of time with the Rock and Roll Express... Uh, we were going to work with them at one of the Starcades. It was in Richmond, Virginia, or whatever. Okay. And uh, Nikita was going to work with, I don't know if it was Dusty or Flair or whoever in Richmond. But it was Ivan Koloff and myself against the Rock and Roll Express. And we built these hour long matches and everything to meet in Richmond. And when you're one of the main events, you get paid more than you do if you're an opening match or whatever. Well, Dusty came up to me one day and he goes, Barry, Barry, baby, hmm. you're not going to be working with the Rock and Roll Express. We're putting Nikita in your place. And I told Dusty, I said, that's, that's bullshit. I said, uh, you know, yeah. every night for an hour, every night, and built this match and you're putting Nikita in there? That's when I got pissed at Nikita. Okay. Because, you know, when you wrestle an hour every single day, everywhere, and build this for every town. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's got a cakewalk where he walks in and he's going to make the money after working that hard. I mean, it really pissed me off. Yeah. So Dusty says, don't worry about it. He says, you're going to make the same pay. And when you're in those territories, you're working months for peanuts to get to that big show to finally make your money. Okay. So, I mean, that, and that's your life. you got to yeah. pay your bills. you got to, you know. And you're counting bills. on that, right? That's your money yeah. for the year. You yeah. Know? And there's only three or four of those big paydays. Yeah. So he says, well, you're going to make the same amount of money and everything. But it still, it, it really hit me wrong. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I got mad at Nikita. Because Nikita should have said, no, Barry should be in that match. Him and Ivan are the partners. They've been working for three months, busting their balls in every one of those deals. Right. But he never did. <laughs> he had the match. Yeah. And... You know the match ain't going to be as good as the ones that me and Ivan had because he couldn't work a lick. Right. You know, I mean, everybody had to work around him. Yeah. And so they put me with Sam Houston because me and Sam had great matches. And it was great working with Sam. We tore the house down, did everything, but here were the third match instead yeah. of the ninth match. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. So... They have the match, and they have a good match. You know, you can't have a bad match with Ivan and the Rock and Roll Express. So uh, it became payday the next Tuesday. And I got my check. I look at it. And I said, all right. Hmm. You know, I was working it. Yeah. I said, Ivan, how would you do? And Ivan goes, yeah, I got uh, $8,300 or whatever it was. Yeah. And I said, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Man, I got like 4300 so. Yeah. And Ivan looks at me, he goes, Barry, please don't do it. I said, Ivan, I said, I am so honest. I said, when somebody tells me something, they better be as honest as I am to them. Right. And I said, I don't give a crap. I said, I don't need this business. I can go get a job somewhere else. I, you know, worked my way up to this far, and I think I'm good enough. I can get another job somewhere else. And Ivan says, Barry, just... You know, go home, skip interviews, I'll do them today. And he says, uh, don't go in there and talk to Dusty. Because he knew that... He would get heat, right? 
well, he wasn't worried about that. He was worried about me quitting because uh, me and him were partners. Right. And I said, I when it was bullshit. I said I was supposed to be in that match. I said I don't really care about the money, but that's that's how you work this deal. You work your angles, and you're the guy. Yeah. And I said they screwed me. Bottom line, I said if they screw me once, they'll screw me twice. Right. So I said I have to quit. I said unless they pay me the money that they said they were going to pay, me, I won't leave. So I'm I get up and during interviews and Ivan says Barry, don't go, don't hmm. go. I went and I knocked on Dusty's door. I said, Dusty, what the hell is this? And he goes, oh, what, what, what? I said, you told me that because I wasn't going to be in that match, I'm going to make the same as what those guys are. I said, I made about four grand less than they did. I said, and I was counting on that money. He goes, Mary, I, I don't know anything about it. You know, you're going to have to go talk to Jimmy. He's the guy who pays it, Jimmy Crockett. Mm -hmm. And I said, are you sure you want me to go talk to Jimmy? Huh. By that time, I was ready to kill him. Yeah. I, mean, I was ready to ring him by the neck. Yeah. So I go in his office. I said, Jim, I said, I worked this whole program with the Rock and Roll Express. You put Nikita in there. He makes the money. I work with Sam Houston. Don't make any money. I said, that's wrong. Dusty told me that you said I was going to make the same amount of money. That's what was going to satisfy me. Yeah. And he goes, no, you ain't going to make the same amount of money. I said, can I say something on TV? Sure. I said, Jimmy, you fucking asshole. And, and I ain't like this. Yeah. I said, I had to come over to that desk and I had to just fucking wring your fucking neck. I said, you're a liar. You're a thief. I said, this is bullshit. I said, either you pay me this fucking money or I says, I'm leaving. And he goes, leave. I said, you don't think I'll leave? So then all of a sudden I thought, you know, if I nail him, I said, I'll kill him. He's just a little bit yeah. sweet guy, you know. So uh, I said, fuck, I'm done, you know. So I go into Dusty's office. I said, Dusty, I said, here's the belt. I said, we're the tag team champions. I said, Ivan and myself, not Nikita and Ivan. I said, here's the belt. I said, I'm done. He goes, Bear, don't, no, I'll fix this. Please don't leave. He says, we got our whole long program. And I, was, I said, no, Dusty, I said, it's past that. I said, when a guy lies, I said, I should have knocked the shit out of him. <laughs> but I said, I, I can't go to jail right now. I said, me and the wife are trying to have a baby, and I, you know, <laughs> I don't want to go to jail and prison and all this stuff. I said, I'm better off just leaving. And Dusty hugged me. He goes, Barry, I'm really sorry. And, you know, just so you know, it you know it ain't me. And I said, I know. But really, it is Dusty. He's the fucker of yeah. the damn thing, you know? So I walked by and I hugged every single one of the guys, Bobby Eaton and Dennis and the Rock and Roll Express, and they were so pissed. Yeah. You know, it's like, I can't believe it. And I said, it's not even the money. I said, they lied. I said, right. I'm the jabroni now. I said, they they know I'll do anything they want me to do. And I said, that was the worst thing ever. I should have said, no. Yeah. I should have never even gave up the belts to you guys, Ricky and Robert. And he goes, yeah, you shouldn't have. You know, I mean, that's that's where the old school, you know, when the promoter says, yeah, I want you to drop the belt to so-and-so, and they'd say, are you kidding me? Huh. Give me 100 grand and I'll drop the belt. Otherwise, it's going to be a shoot, you know. You know how many times it was the real deal in the ring? Mm -hmm. Because that was the old school way, you know. If I was in the new generation, everybody worked with everybody, and and Jimmy was still the old school. Wow. In fact, when I see him the next time, I should knock the shit out. <laughs> One slap. <laughs> you know, he's probably, what, 80 years old now? Uh -huh. uh, so anyways, that was, hmm. after all that was done, I uh, took a week or two off, and me and my wife were, you know, trying to have a kid for quite a while. And uh, I called up Earl Hebner, and I said, Earl, can you talk to Dave, and I need to get Vince's number and uh, call Vince. And... So I called up David and I said, David, I need to talk to Vince. I said, uh, I need to get a job up there. You know, can you help me out? David goes, well, here, let me talk to him. We got TV or something and I'll mention you and, you know, see if there's anything open up there. And then uh, next day, all of a sudden, I'm at home eating breakfast or something, you know, sitting back, no job, you know, and hmm. all of a sudden the phone rings and, is this Barry Arzal? Uh, yeah. 
Vince McMahon here. He <laughs> says, uh, yeah, can you come up to my office? I hear you're looking for a job, you know. And I said, yeah, when do you, when do you want me? And he goes, well, what's your schedule like? You know, I said, well, just a minute. I'm making like I'm looking through this stuff. He goes, well, how about Thursday? Can I shoot out there? And he goes, I'll have a limousine for you. Your plane tickets will be ready Thursday morning and all this stuff. And flew up there, and that's that wow. the deal. 